Hi there folks, I'm Captain Monty Graham with Texas Fishing Tips and this is your weekly fishing report. Hoping everybody had a great week this week. Um, we've still been working the north and the south end of the jetties. There have been good fish, there have been redfish here at the jetties on these rocks. Uh, we've been using live shrimp. We've been using just a Carolina rig. If you're out here at the point, I've been using a two to three ounce weight right on top of the hook, dropping that shrimp or cut manhaden right on top of these rocks in 15 to 20 foot of water. Uh, there have been good redfish hanging all around these rocks right now at the end of the jetties. Uh, if you can come out and work the outside, we've been free lining shrimp on these granite rocks. There have been good trout uh, starting to hang out all through here. There have also been some black drum out here at the jetties. So right now there are a lot of fish just kind of hanging out right here at these jetties. Uh, on them good calm days, if you got you some croaker, you can come out to the surf. Uh, for those that haven't been out there, make sure you pick a good calm day. Um, look for the break. Uh, the break is breaking on top of those sandbars. You do not want to be where it's breaking. You want to be in the gut itself. So if you ain't been out there, pick a good calm day. Have you some live croaker. Uh, fish in the first and second gut uh, right here on the beach. There have been good trout. The closer that you get to the beach, uh, the more chances of redfish. We have been catching redfish out here also. So for those that ain't been out there, uh, pick you a good day. Uh, it's nice to have a buddy boat if something does happen out there. But there is a lot of good trout and redfish all along this this surf right now. So pick you a good calm day. Get out there. Start exploring. But there's a lot of good fish all around here. Uh, if it's too rough to get out, we've also been coming over here to Fina Docks. Working these docks all through here uh, with free line and shrimp. We've been catching redfish. We've been catching trout. There have been some black drum hanging off through here, uh, out in front, where this structure's sitting in about 20, 25 foot of water. We've been using a two to three ounce weight right on top of the hook and dropping live shrimp or fresh manhaden. There have been a lot of good reds caught through here. Um, if you're right up on the bank, we've just been free lining shrimp. There have been some good trout hanging all through here around this dock. You know them fish are coming in from the jetties. They're hitting this Lillian shoreline right now. We've been coming out here with live croaker, just freelining them, um, sitting in about three foot of water, working this edge all the way down. There have been good numbers and good quality trout all on this edge through Lillian all the way to quarantine shoreline. So if you got you some live croaker, just work that edge. Um, you're sure to find some trout. If you're looking for the redfish, Come back around, get real tied up against this shoreline up in these mangroves uh, with cut manhaden, uh, cut perch, uh, live mullet. We have been getting some good numbers of redfish through here. There have also been some redfish in the big slough up on these reefs. The water has been low. Um, the reefs have been exposed. So those of you that got the shallow water boats that can get in here in between these, these reefs to the back, there have been good numbers of redfish through here. There's also been some mixed in with some black drum. For those, just use uh, some dead shrimp just with the lead head. Um, you might find the school, and if you stop the bite, then you'll just have to kind of find that school again. But there have been good fish all through Big Slough, and also coming into Lighthouse Lakes, there have been good fish. So there's good fish coming into the jetties and working this shoreline right now. Um, get your favorite bait, start looking for them bait balls, and you're sure to find some fish all through here right now. Early in the morning, we've been getting our live croaker and working uh, inside the east flats right here. There have been good numbers of trout all along this edge right now. Uh, them flats have been pretty low, so them fish are falling out in this deeper water, but there's good fish all through here. When I get done there, I've been coming into sailboat channel and using just dead shrimp just with the with the lead head there have been good schools of black drum running all through this channel right now uh, on them sunny days if you can get up high enough where you can see them uh, that makes it a lot easier that or you can find that dirty water 
and start chunking them baits on there. But there's uh, good numbers of black drum early in the morning. The trout have also been in, in the sailboat. Right here on this corner, there's a lot of good black drum hanging off on this corner all the way down this little cut. Uh, there's good fish through here. If you come back here to the whales, there's some oyster reefs back here in the back. And there have also been some uh, black drum. There have been mixed in redfish through here. Uh, just look for the fish. You can pretty much see them if that sun comes out. Uh, if you don't find them there, I've been coming back down, coming underneath this last bridge, and getting back here in Summer Hole and in this back cove, there's been redfish back here. There have been good numbers of black drum. So have you some dead shrimp just with a lead head, and you should be able to find them fish all through here in Selbo right now. On those days that the wind had been blowing 20 and 30, been coming over here to Ingleside and working this Berry Island up on this shore bank. There have been good fish through here. There have been trout through here. There have been redfish through here. You can also come back here in this protected cove. There have been uh, redfish through here. There have also been mixed in with some trout. If you'll come on this edge of this island in about three foot of water and start drifting and throwing live croaker, we've been getting good numbers of trout all along this edge. Uh, if you come down and back around to these point of these rocks, on them good calm days we've also been catching trout through here on the outside of these rocks there's also been redfish back in these back little oyster reefs back here in the backside so they're all around these islands right now is holding good fish um, I've been carrying live croaker I've been carrying live shrimp so one day they want shrimp one day they want croaker but if you get the right baits you should be able to find the right fish you're looking for all around these islands right now Thanks for watching. I'm Captain Monty Graham.